Today's Norwich was born of humble beginnings, 55 miles to the south in the town of Norwich on the New Hampshire border, when a Vermonter named Alden Partridge founded the American Literary, Scientific, and Military Academy. Partridge had some pretty revolutionary ideas back in 1819 about what higher education should be. He believed that people should be prepared to defend the republic, but also should be able to serve the republic. So he wanted a curriculum that was broader than just military science. He wanted it to include languages, the arts, literature, um, a much broader view of education. Alex Kershaw is a New York Times best-selling author who spent two years writing Citizens and Soldiers, the new history of the first 200 years of Norwich University. The fire that ravaged the Norwich campus in 1866, prompting the school's relocation to Northfield to the many, many American military leaders who've been educated here. Harmon, Norwich guy, and then Brooks was a Norwich guy, Harmon's a Norwich guy, and White's a Norwich guy. I would argue the finest American armored division of World War II was basically a boys club for Norwich. The impressive Campus Museum, a Smithsonian affiliate, tells many of those stories. Spearhead of the Allied advance, kicking the hell out of the Germans. Two world wars through today's conflicts. From those first handfuls of students, Norwich now educates 2,400 on campus in programs ranging from architecture to cybersecurity to engineering. We now have a center for global resiliency, and a lot of that's focused on water. What are we going to do when we run out of clean water? Today, Norwich can look ahead, propelled by a $100 million capital campaign that brought in even more. These days, construction projects are everywhere on campus timed for this fall's bicentennial. Given under my hand in the great seal of the state of Vermont. At the Capitol last week, Governor Phil Scott signed a proclamation honoring the school's founding and its anniversary year. So I think what people want to buy is high quality education with great values. And that's what we do. We really stress being an honorable person, an ethical leader. Then, as now, combining military discipline and skills development, or as one student puts it. Norwich, you're constantly asked to go outside your comfort zone, and it's just a good character building experience. It hasn't really, in its basic philosophy, changed. It's still trying to do what Partridge did in 1819. So, happy birthday. Bicentennial events this year will culminate with the Norwich homecoming this September when President Schneider says some 10,000 alumni just might return to campus.